Uh, welcome back, everybody, to WTL. Where's the line? Nebraska's first and only sports betting show. I'm your host, Ant. D class and joined by Jabron. Oh, the parlay pounder. You got it. About to get into some parlays, too. Yes, we are, and we got to keep that energy Let's high. Go. We got to keep this thing rolling. Yep. We got to close it out in style on this fourth segment here. We're getting back into the UFC. Let's do it. But before we look ahead, okay. let's take a look back and talk about All some right. of our hits and misses. All right. And we are keeping this heater going right now. Yeah. Uh, we talked to the little NFL preseason last week. We we're very careful with our picks. And we went just started out of the gates perfectly, going two for two on that first game. Yeah, Vikings Seahawks told you to smash the over over thirty five. We got it at that yep. easily covered, and then the Seahawks to cover the three and a half. No doubt, boy, did they cover. They end up winning by eleven. We bought that in at three and a half. We just thought that they had a lot more to play for in this game, obviously, and that's the way yeah. the preseason looks. And uh, yeah. Knew that they were going to score points as well, so that, I th- thought that was a slam dunk by us. Two for two. One that I didn't slam dunk, Andy, is the UFC last mm-hmm. weekend. Uh, you know, nice fight card over in Las Vegas. Cub Swanson, I thought he was past his prime. Yep, you weren't Cu- the only one. Yeah, comes out, gets a unanimous decision mm-hmm. over Daewoo. Uh, I did call the main event correct. The silent assassin did take down RDA. Thought yep. RDA is kind of, you know, past his prime and all that kind of stuff. So I went one for one in the t- top two fights there. So one, one, lost one. But yeah, that preseason football was a lot of fun to get underway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's it's always fun. And then yeah, the UFC that's tough. We know it uh, to <laughs> yeah. split, but then also get the 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 main card, main event correct. Yeah, uh, that's a good way to close out the night. Heck yeah, I was I was psyched. <laughs> so let's get back into the UFC. Let's go. We're talking UFC 292. Yep. Back in the Garden. Back in Boston. Things kick off Saturday night at nine o'clock Central Standard Time. Yeah. We're gonna get right into that main card right now. Let's look at this welterweight. Two ranked fighters. Neil. Magnagni, uh, the guy from the United States, taking on Gary, a young man out of Ireland. You're looking at number 11 yeah. and the number 13 contender here. And Gary, big time favorite at minus 500. Yeah, Andy, and this was just a recent change in opponent for Gary as well. Uh, he, he was supposed to originally set off to go against Jeff Neal at UFC mm-hmm. 292. Instead, we'll get a different Neal with Neil Magny. Um, to me, Gary feels a lot like Sean O'Malley like three years ago. Hmm. Cocky, talented, fresh face. Uh, the fan base loves him, especially the young face uh, fan base. Striker, striker. I was he's a say, huge striker, yeah. making a name in the UFC. Yep. Uh, I, d- I just like this fight for him. Uh, throwing up a you know Neil Magny has been a staple in the UFC for so long. Yep. I think they're kind of feeding him to the wolves here, Andy, a little bit. I uh, mean, but they're, they're similarly ranked, but it, this is where that classic case. Of yeah, we're trying to roll out the red carpet it, here for Gary. Yeah, beat a ranked opponent on a big stage. No, no doubt. Magny is a crafty and rugged. Well- Welterweight dog who will likely make yeah. the Irishman earn every bit of this win, but I think the the result will likely be a unanimous decision. But Gary getting a KO early on the 36 year old that has uh, showed considerably uh, possible, yeah. and, and that's why you're seeing that fight line, Andy, with Gary uh, with that KO. Is only a plus a hundred. Wow! Isn't that nuts? Whoa. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I really like. I mean, I think they're giving Neil Magny a little bit too much credit here, and not yeah. giving the youngster with the the big hands uh, enough credit here. Uh, a big mm. line that I like, Andy, is I don't think this is going to go the distance under two and a half. Right now, it is at a minus one twenty five. So I like that mm. as a parlay piece. Yeah. I, I okay. do like I do like Ian Gary to win by KO though at a plus one hundred. That's probably going in the parlay for sure. I think he gets the KO. I mm-hmm. think he's just bigger, faster, stronger, younger. Check all the boxes. He's moving up this uh, ranking system fast. Yeah, yeah. And there, it does kind of feel like, oh, so-and-so's out, so who can we get in? Oh, Magni will take the fight. B- b- big, you know? big ups for him taking yeah. this fight against uh, just one of the scariest dudes in the welterweight division, climb the ranks. His nickname is The Future 
for nah. a reason. <laughs> uh, see how long that lasts. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes in the UFC, it's not too long. It's not. All right, should we move up to card here? Let's do it. To a, a This is a championship bout. Yeah. A belt is on the line a here. A belt is on the line. Young woman out of China, Zhang Wiley, Wiley uh, taking on Amanda Lemos, who's the number five contender yeah. in the strawweight uh, women's um, weight class. She's from Brazil. And this, I mean, if you're looking at odds, it's pretty tight. Yeah, I, I don't think it should be as tight as it is. Amanda Lemos is a very deserving title, you know, challenger mm-hmm. after winning seven of nine in the octagon and finishing top contender Rodriguez two, in November. Yeah. However, there's levels to this, Andy. And Zawei <laughs> Whaley is a fighter that is among the most talented in the sport, man or woman. Uh, I think Lemos will put up a good fight. Early, but however, the technique and power of Zhang yeah. will start to show as this fight progresses and uh, eventually set up a TKO. Uh, she's getting the knockout. John Wei Lei, uh, Wei Lei is, uh, you know. Uh, right now sitting at a plus 110 for a KO, so yeah. they think this is going to happen as Ooh, well. Wow. And, and, and she will. This is She was going to KO her. Well, both these gals are strikers. Uh, no Lemos is, lands four and a half uh, significant strikes yeah. you know, per round, and then you're looking at Whaley at, at almost six? Six significant strikes with yeah. her hands No, she uh, gets round. after it. So I think that it, this might actually work against Amanda Lemos that she's going to want to stand up and strike and box and do those things. It's like, well, you're kind of playing into... Yeah, uh, Whaley is <laughs> It's the way that <laughs> Zang is going to want it. Uh, the, a very odd thing that I see here, Andy, I, I guess not odd, but over three and a half is at a plus 150 right now. Hmm. It's a five-round fight, obviously. Yep. I do believe that Lamos will be able to get to the championship rounds to four or five, so I do like that plus money at the over three and a half rounds right now. I hmm. do believe... Whaley gets the knockout in round four. Yeah, because I don't know if either uh, they'll take the submission, but that's not necessarily no. their style and what no, they're no, looking no, for no. here. They're, yep. they're looking to, to kind of trade blows, uh, maybe do, get a little boxing <laughs> action. John Whaley uh, is the best woman's fighter besides Amanda Nunez, and uh, it it's going to show. She's going to get a knockout round four, book it. All right, don't overthink it. Yeah, That's just where it's at is Whaley. Okay, should we move to the main event. I'm ready, Andy. Al Jermaine Sterling, the current belt holder, is taking on Sugar Sean O'Malley, the number two contender in this bantamweight title. We previously talked about how stacked this bantamweight is. Yeah. And it just feels like Sterling has never got the respect he deserves. Probably not. He probably is now, though, as a minus 258 uh, favorite, yep. over a $2 favorite here. For sure. And I just want to run down some of these names yeah. that Sterling has knocked off, yeah, yeah, yeah. just so people know what we're dealing with here. Because, you know, I just feel like you oh, say yeah. Sterling and you just kind of shrug it off. Oh, I guess you won. <laughs> I don't. I know that. Sandhagen, the Sandman, took him down. Peter Yawn, twice, both times, a belt was on the line. T, T, D, T. J. Dillashaw, Dillashaw, and yep. uh, took him down in a, a title defense, and then just took down Sudo. You also got guys like uh, Pedro Munoz, who yep. we've already talked about. All these guys, pelts on the wall here yep. for Aljamain Sterling Funk as Master. Funk Master, and a cool nickname too. Yeah, one of the best. As he's squaring up Sugar Sean O'Malley, and O'Malley the plus two ten underdog. Yeah, Andy, and the, and there's no doubt that Aljamain Sterling is the best one thirty five pound fighter in the world right now. Mm-hmm. And he is a size like you said, he's a sizable favorite because of that. However, my guy, <laughs> he's my favorite. Sugar Sean O'Malley seems to be on this sort of rise that feels similar. And and yeah. the reason that he's getting this, you know, much traction is it's a similar you know, path that Conor McGregor and Israel Adesanya took to the belt. Mm -hmm. This is kind of what they did to get here. They were huge underdogs in their first championship fights. This guy as well. Uh, Yet, if he is to win this fight... It has to be early. He has to get him well, with a knockout. The, he's got the knockout he power. Does. He does. Yeah. The longer this fight goes, Andy, the more it favors the champ. But O'Malley is a very smart and measured fighter. Aljo has a, a wild striking style that mm-hmm. perfectly sets up for his dominant wrestling. But there is a no doubt Sugar has been planning some traps for that. And I really think that he's going to catch him in one of these early rounds, Andy. Oh, man. I got O'Malley by TKO in round one. Whoa. Round one TKO, oh, Sugar Shot O'Malley. What kind of plus money is that? That is huge money, Andy. <laughs> just by knockout. It, uh, there we just go. to win the fight, he's at a plus 210, Andy. If you want to just go by knockout, it is plus 
three thirty right and, now. And then, uh, man, when it gets closer to the fight, you're going to see that line really skyrocket. Yeah. Knock out a KO in the first round. Yeah. Oh my God! Now O'Malley does land a, a lot of significant <laughs> strikes over seven uh, per round. And yeah. Aljamain, though, I mean, he does a little bit of everything, and he does a little bit of everything. No well. doubt. You don't think that defense is going to be on point? You just think O'Malley's got. He knows what he needs to do, and he knows he needs to get it in early. Yeah. No, I think I think really. It really comes down to if if Aljamain gets out of the first two rounds, I believe Aljamain wins by decision okay. or submission. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is that I think Sugar's going to start fast. Yeah. He likes to. He likes to piece him up, likes to get his range, all that kind of stuff, and then come in for the kill. I've seen it you know, on almost every fight that Sugar's yeah. ever done. And uh, Aljamain, is, I, I think he's... I think he's a little juiced up for this one. I think he's a little too juiced up for it <laughs> that he, they're that yeah. they're giving this young kid, this young rising star, right. a chance way before they gave Al Jermaine a, a chance to win the title. It's just. Yeah. Uh, I think he's a little jazzed up, wants to put this guy in his place, and I think he's going to make a mistake big time make it in early. the first round. And Sterling didn't, he seemed less than thrilled when uh, Sean O'Malley took the to the octagon oh, after yeah. he took down Sudo there and kind of got in his face, didn't even let, allow him to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, he just, beat, he just beat, till then, the best fighter of all time in the weight class, right. Triple C. He had just beat him, and they didn't even give him a chance to catch his breath, and Sugar Sean was up there with his thriller jacket <laughs> saying that he's going down. So, no, and I mean, the UFC does that. They have to build the next fight. Right. Al Jermaine understands that. It's yeah. just, uh, it, it's it's really cool that they're making this fight, and it's so fun that Sugar Sean has got there so quick, but it, it could end bad for him on Saturday night. And, you know, a name like O'Malley, you got to think uh, in a place like Boston, that's going to be fairly welcome, so there might oh, be a little yeah. bit of home crowd behind him. I'm not so sure about that, but it just seems like Sean O'Malley does have a little bit of the fan base behind him. Yeah, no doubt. And it's just because he's such a likable, you know, such a, he's a YouTuber, he's a, you know, colored hair, all that kind of stuff. Podcasts, podcasts. Yeah, tattoos and all that kind of stuff. Sugar Sean to win by KO in the first round is at a plus 900 right now, Andy. Bingo. I think it's going to (laughs) happen. Oh my God. Do you got a parlay play? I do. And for the I, people. And I left Sugar out of it. I didn't want people <laughs> saying that I'm Homer and him. So, no, I got Marlon Vera at a minus 192 to win his fight against Pedro. Okay. I got Zhang Wei Li to win by KO in her fight at a plus 100. And then I got mm-hmm. the future, Ian Gary, to win by KO at a plus 100. Put those three together. It's a plus 538 bet. Put twenty five dollars on that to win one sixty. Ooh, I like that. You rounded mm. up three very plausible plus money no bets there. Put them together, and then you're also right. <laughs> I got to go back to O'Malley with a plus nine hundred. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, no, th- that's just a fun bet. I'm a huge fan of Sean O'Malley. Uh, always, I always will be. Uh, and yeah, l- but you're right. Al Joe does not get the respect he deserves. And if he he, he yeah. puts the lights out on Sugar Sean, he's going to get a lot of attention. Yep, I love it. I love it. Run down that parlay one more time. The parlay is Vera to win Moneyline, Zhang Wei Li to win by KO, Ian Gary to win by KO. Nice, nice. Well, that'll about do it for us this week, folks. Be sure to follow us on ESPN Tri-City Radio and their Facebook handle. Of course, we're on Twitter, and our YouTube channel is expanding quicker than the universe. Mm -hmm. We have eclipsed 2,000 subscribers. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed to that channel. We have a lot of fun on that. Cutting it up and making those short videos. No doubt. Just fun. Also got those daily pics over on TikTok for all you TikTokers out there. For Jabron, the par, lay, pounder, I'm Andy Klassen. Thank you for listening. This has been WTL.